Rather iconic, isn't it? Classic Santa Claus. Taking pictures at the mall. Welcome every pony one and all to this very special episode of the Brony Guide. Okay, now if you guys haven't figured it out already, this is a Christmas episode. So what are we going to be looking at this episode? Well, we're going to be looking at the differences and similarities between Christmas and Heart's Warming Eve. Now, before we do that, um, you guys might notice that I'm going to be changing my shirt a lot throughout this video. That's simply because this was this was shot over a period of days, and yeah. So, on with the show. All right. Now let's take a look at some of those similarities. Because there are a lot of similarities. Now keep in mind, I'm only going with what's canon and not what's fanon. Simply because canon's easier to work with and it's easier to sort through than a lot of the fanon stuff that's out there. Which actually makes my job a lot easier. So, what sorts of similarities are there? Well, let's start... Let, yes, let's start with, first off, what we see in the Heartwarming Eve episode. Now, I'm going to start off with decorations because, well, there's a lot. So let's stick with three. The first one that I'm going to use is Rarity's hat. Now, as you can tell by the pictures, you can actually see decorative, decorated trees in the background. And you can also see a, a large candy cane. And, well, unfortunately, I tried to find Pinkie Pie actually eating the gingerbread house, but that image is really hard to find. So instead, I actually went with the snow pony. Now, one other similarity that Hearts Warming Eve actually has to Christmas is the Hearts Warming Eve pageant, which the entire episode is actually based around. Now, how is this similar to Christmas? Well, for those of you that actually attend church, there's the Nativity Play, which is held every year at Christmas, and it actually celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ which is also a difference. Now, I say that it's a difference simply because the Hearts Warming Eve pageant and the nativity play that's held every year celebrate two completely different things. First of all, the nativity play that's held every year by Christians and Catholics and, and basically anybody that really goes to church celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ, as I said before. Whereas the Heartswarming Eve pageant celebrates the founding of Equestria. So, you're basically celebrating the birth of one person versus celebrating the birth of an entire nation. <clears throat> now there is a little bit more history to Christmas and Hearts Warming Eve. For instance, there's gift giving and carols and really all sorts of other stuff that's brought up in Hearts Warming Eve. But again, it's, but that's slightly different because 
every pony gives gifts because those that because the characters that are featured in the play they also gave gifts to one another sorry just to correct myself whereas with Christmas Saint Nicholas actually hands out gifts to children of the world well at least those that celebrate Christmas so there's that now as much as I want to say there's that there's more to this there really isn't I mean there's so few differences like there's so few similarities between Christmas and Heartswarming Eve that they really just aren't worth mentioning so I'm gonna end this early right the big one I forgot to mention the big one the one that both Christmas and Heartswarming Eve are both are both based off of the reason why I made this actually the one big similarity that Christmas and Heartswarming Eve have in common is the one thing that they are meant for they are both meant to bring everybody together in Heartswarming Eve we actually see three separate tribes come together in unison to create a brand new nation a nation built off of peace and harmony and love just all this other really great stuff. And that's also a moral for Christmas and basically every other holiday. It's coming together, you know, bringing everybody together. It's, Christmas is never meant to be about getting somebody the biggest gift or the best gift or the most gifts or the latest thing or the most expensive thing or the hottest thing or, or anything like that. The time that you spend with your loved ones, with your friends and your family, that's the best thing. I mean, that's really what that's what every holiday, you know, whether it be Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day, it doesn't really matter. That's what they're about. You know, spending time with the people that you love and taking time out to really appreciate one another and show each other that well, that you love them and that you appreciate them and that's what Hearts Warming Eve and Christmas are both about what more can I say except when this video is over I want you all of you, everybody watching this, to turn off your computers, your cell phones, your tablets, your iPads, your iPhones, whatever you're watching this on. I want you to just turn them off. Turn them off. Your TVs, well, yeah, TVs, computers, smart devices, whatever. Turn them off. And go and spend... Christmas, or Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa, or whatever you celebrate with your friends and family. I want you to call up your grand. I want you to call up your mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, your friends, you know, people that 
you're glad to have in your life. I want you to call them up and just let them know how much you appreciate them. So, from me to all of you, I want to wish you all the happiest holidays. And until next time, this is Shadow Pony. Signing out.